settling down for pick number eight. There we go. Oh, brilliant start from Bewley on the inside. Absolutely nailed that. Cabrera's having a go around the outside. Can he make it oh, slip? Can he make it work? Oh, my goodness. Where did that happen? Off the inside there. Leon Madsen fires himself to the front. Cabrera's around the outside. Bewley's gone to the back. Can you believe it? Jack Holder coming through in the third place. Round the outside once again is Kubera. What a brave move. Oh, Madsen says no way through. Oh, that was naughty. Slammed the door shut right in front of him. I tell you what, Hold Jack up. Holder now got himself into a comfortable second place. Kubera still sticking with that dirt line on the outside. Not the quickest place for him. You have to wonder, can Jack Holder do anything now with Madsen? Madsen out in front. Jack Holder has ridden a very intelligent race here. Wasn't attempted to move off the line. As I say, that he just does. But uh, he's now comfortable in second place. Bewley's the loser here. Looked really strong initially, but got uh, beaten up on the opening lap. Leon Madsen's showing oh. real class there. Oh, oh Bewley's just turned it upside down at the oh. back. Yeah, it was nasty. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's hope he's OK. Nasty-looking yeah. incident right at he, the end of yeah, the race. Yeah, I don't think he actually went into the fence too hard, but it was a really awkward-looking off. Concern for Dan Bewley now. And uh, a disappointing result all round there for young Dan. Super right from Neil Madsen out in front, who will be delighted with that to respond so strongly. But out of that last corner, no quite what happened, too much grip, just lifted violently. Thrown off the bike. And, um, don't see that from Bewley, do you? He's not the sort of rider that that happens to. He's normally pretty much in control. That man, though, very much in control of heat number eight. And uh, got it sorted out. And uh, a big smile on his face and delighted with that, rightly so. But as I say, concern for Dan Bewley, who is being attended to on the exit of turn number four. Yeah, Dan's still down, but uh, Neil Madsen, race winner, saw that straight line speed that we're used to seeing from him. He can generate the speed down the straights, doesn't weigh too much. He's got a smile on his face, which we didn't see earlier, so uh, I guess he feels he's got things just sorted out now. Here we go, taking a look again at heat number eight. And uh, decent start from Kubera, but at this point, Dan Bewley looks like he's got the uh, first turn set up. Just goes backwards. Mm. Jack Holder then steams up the inside of him. And uh, Madsen there just got the bike working. Look, got the grip, the front wheel's just off the air, leaving the corner. He knows that the bike's working hard there, I think, is the big mistake for Kubera. He's stuck with the outside line, left a big hole up the inside, and Madsen there. Bam, Ooh. straight across him. Excuse me. It, that is slamming the door shut. It was indeed, and uh, it was vital because Cabrera had elected to go to that high wide. I think if Cabrera had got himself to the front, um, he would have uh, managed to uh, win the race. But uh, we're hearing that there was a warning for yeah. Leon Madsen for his riding in that particular race, which is not a major surprise, but uh, there's nonetheless... The, oh, there's Dan going down. Dear, oh dear. Yeah. Out of nothing, that, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. out of nothing. And uh, let's hope that he can continue tonight. But um, uh, a bit of a shocking thing. There we just see him gingerly going back to the pits. He's a real lightweight kid. There's nothing to him. So um, we'll see the results now of heat number eight for you. So um, uh, Leon Madsen, three points out in front. Jack Holder coming through nicely. Smart ride from Holder there to yeah. get pick up two points. And Cabrera back in third, one point. And the luckless Stan Bewley failing to score there. Just remains on one point. <laughs>